As beings of light, we don't have to run from darkness. We can choose to outshine it. We can even choose to bring light to our own darkness. I believe it's in these moments that true healing really happens. The comments are turned off for this video. I'm speaking my truth here and then I'm moving on with my life. This isn't about addressing the haters. It's about showing up and representing kindness and truth. It's about providing clarity to those who are misinformed and approaching me or slandering me. I'm allowed to have a say here since my name is the one being thrown around. Not everyone can distinguish truth versus agenda or even propaganda. One or two comments about me is different from several dedicated videos created by other influencers. And it's far different than even people walking up to you at public events or walking up to my friends at public events, asking about my beliefs and even condemning me to my face for something that's false. When it gets to that point, I believe the responsible thing to do is to make a public statement and let people know what I do or don't stand for. The easier thing to do would just be to ignore it all and pretend like nothing is being said. In the past, I affirm, I would have not acknowledged anything being said because standing up for myself was terrifying to me. I was bullied a lot growing up and it's one of the reasons why I've had such a hard time being brave in this way before. Brene Brown says that to be open and vulnerable is one of the most courageous things you can do. I am human. I'm not perfect. I'm working through my own traumas and hardships and pain just like you. And I'm doing my best to move through my fears with compassion and grace. I've grown and matured a lot. And at this point in my life, it doesn't feel right to let unjust things be said. I choose to stand up for truth. I believe it's important to give clarity to those who might be questioning my character or my integrity. I promote a peaceful, loving, compassionate lifestyle. I'm here to love everyone, to teach people how to live healthier, to save animal lives, and to help the environment. I'm a raw vegan for health, for ethics and animals, and for the environment. I'm here for it all. This lifestyle has transformed my life from a type two diabetic who was sick and lost to now being in the best shape of my life. It saved my life. <laughs> this message is far greater than me. This is not about me. That's why I'm still here because of this message, because it's important. I apologize if I've ever done anything unintentionally that offended or hurt someone. I can assure you that was never my intention. That's not my true character. I don't gossip or shame anyone on my YouTube channel, but I will stand up for myself if things get out of hand and they have gotten out of hand. For those who don't know the YouTube game, I'd first like to educate you on why many other YouTubers pick on me so much. The first reason is because of clickbait. By targeting someone who has more subscribers or who is more popular than you and by using their name in the title or photo in a thumbnail, you're creating clickbait for more views. More views essentially means more money. It's quite disgusting actually what people will do to get more views. To those who have made trash videos about me, use my name in their titles for clicks or plastered the worst screenshot photos of me in their thumbnails for views. I'd just like to say this. I am sorry you feel so bad about yourself that you need to try to tear me down to make yourself feel better. I have compassion for you. I am sorry you're angry and sad. I truly am. And you have the power and responsibility to change. You spending all of your time talking about me just makes you look more desperate and pathetic. You can uplift people and find positive things to share instead of putting more fear and negativity into the world. I'm all about being successful, but I'm not about trying to destroy another person's life to help me get there. I won't be mentioning names of other YouTubers who've been trashing me recently because I'm not sitting here to give anyone extra publicity off of this. They don't deserve your clicks. I'll just say this though. The worst part is they are vegans. So much for a compassionate lifestyle, huh? I'm not here for that. <laughs> not all vegans are like this and I'd like to be an example of what a kind and compassionate vegan with boundaries and integrity can look like. I hope to be that for you today. Also, just so that you know, I've been a raw vegan longer than most of all of the other YouTubers online right now. 
I'm still here and I'm not going anywhere. The second thing I'd like for you to consider when listening to people on YouTube is this. Consider your source. There are people who have built their entire careers off talking trash about other people. And it's easier to do this on YouTube than it is on any other platform because you get paid for it. It's drama. I don't subscribe to those people. I don't watch their videos. I personally think it's not classy. I choose not to support people who behave immaturely in that way. They literally wake up every morning looking for drama to feed off of and search for people to make videos about. And when they find one person to make videos about that always gets them good clicks, they'll continue to keep making videos about that person because it's a guaranteed moneymaker for them. Don't just hear the words they speak, but also evaluate the person who's saying it. Go check out their other videos and titles. Are they bashing or talking about other people on their channel? Is their channel all about reviewing other YouTubers? Use your discernment when listening to some of the things that people say and note the source. Are they making their views and money off of talking about other people instead of creating their own inspirational content? What other content are they creating? If someone has this much criticism about me or other people, I can only imagine how critical they are of themselves. And I'd like to add this. Most of the people who have made videos about me online have never even spoken with me, never had a conversation with me, or even had some kind of an exchange, whether it be in person or online. They think I know who they are because they're out there making waves about me, but guess what? I'm not paying attention to them because I'm focused on my own goals of actually helping people. Usually when I hear about what others are saying about me, it's because people who have seen their content come to me and aggressively approach me about it and leave nasty comments on my feeds. Or in this case, real friends who actually care about me enough to let me know that the situation is somewhat serious, being talked about at live events, and should be addressed publicly. If someone actually has a problem with me and if they have an inkling of care or compassion or respect for me, I expect a private email or message somewhere, not a public video making assumptions or accusations about me. When someone goes public with it before addressing you to see if something is legit, it's at that point you know that someone is there to slander you and to either make money off of you or bring you down and try to make themselves look all high and mighty. Some of you have known me for over a decade. You've been following me for a long time. You know my character and what I'm all about. On the opposite hand, some of you are brand new to my channel and getting to know me. I appreciate you all so much and essentially these truths are for you because you've put faith in me and you believe in me. Some people will throw rocks at me for their own personal game. I might fall down. I might have a moment because I'm human, but I always get back up. And when I do get back up, I am much stronger than I was before. I'll be addressing the main concerns or rumors being talked about right now, and then I will create clarity around some other matters as well. I choose to make this smooth and graceful. I asked you all on my Instagram stories to share what you've heard so that I have the opportunity to share my truths. I thank you for this opportunity for me to be able to show you my character. This definitely isn't easy for me, but I believe it's the right and courageous thing for me to do. I'm doing my best to live a pure life with integrity, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Truth is a beauty who is much older and wiser than me, so I stand for truth. I know that I've grown because in the past, doing this would have terrified me, and today I view it as a blessing. What a blessing for me to be here with you today to share my truth with you. Thank you. So let's start here. Let's start with the most prominent thing being discussed. It is being talked about online, as well as at live events, which is somewhat terrifying for me, to be honest. But the rumor is that I am a neo-Nazi. And I would just like to say this, please hear me when I say I am absolutely not a neo-Nazi. I know that this is a very sensitive topic for many, so I'm just gonna say that this is not my belief system. I am an Ecuadorian Lebanese woman and I love everyone. I aim to be compassionate towards everyone and all living beings and to coexist with everyone in harmony. That being said, I do know people who I have interviewed on my channel in the past who've recently come out to talk about their beliefs regarding this. 
That is a subject that I had never spoken about with them, nor have I ever discussed that topic on my channel. This might be their belief system, it is not mine. I've also seen a lot of comments from people accusing me of eating fish or having been caught eating fish, and I would just like to say that is not me and it will never be me. There was another girl in the vegan community who was caught eating fish on camera and since then has left the plant-based community. Please do not confuse the both of us. We are two very different people and I can assure you that I will never be caught eating fish because I am highly allergic to shellfish and most types of fish, as I mentioned in my previous YouTube video. I've heard that you are anti-LGBT, you hang out with neo-Nazis, you secretly eat meat, which is why you gained weight. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? <laughs> I, I'm not putting anybody down here, I'm just saying that the fact that these things go around on the internet and people believe them is, is a bit much for me to digest sometimes. I have not eaten meat in nearly 14 years. Um, July 15th will actually be my 14 year raw vegan anniversary. I also love the LGBT community. Some of my best friends are a part of it and actually what hurt the most when reading those comments is that you know, having to speak with some of my best friends about this, it was just hurtful. It was hurtful for them, it was hurtful for me, and I'm sorry that people even accuse me of that. I feel like it was not fair to like me or my friends who were a part of it, and it just feels mean. I've already addressed the neo-Nazi thing, hopefully we can move on from that. Next comment, that I lied about having a degree that doesn't exist, that Rice University does not exist, and that I never got a degree. Yes, these are actual things being spread about me right now. And I believe this happened because somebody called Rice University and asked them if I got a degree in raw foods, which is really silly. <laughs> um, I don't know any major Ivy League or university along that ranking that has raw food degrees. So I actually have something to show you just to prove to you a point. For the people who think that I lied about having a college degree, I did graduate from Rice University, summa cum laude, Pi Beta Kappa, top 5% of my class. This is a photo of me getting handed my diploma. I had multiple majors. So I just wanna show you my degree really quickly just so you can see that Rice University does actually exist and if you Google it, Rice University just happens to be at a higher ranking right now than an Ivy League university. It is an amazing university. I loved it there. Uh, you can see this is the degree from my Bachelor of Arts. It even says summa cum laude here at the bottom. Look at that, summa cum laude. Yep, you see it? Boom. For those of you who don't know what summa cum laude is, it means that I graduated top 5% of my class. So now that we have that out of the way, I would just like to say this. I have a degree in kinesiology with a specialization in health sciences. I did my senior thesis paper on fasting, the difference between juice fasting and water fasting. And I specialize in raw foods because I have been doing a raw vegan lifestyle. I have been living it for the past 14 years. I attended both Vanderbilt and Rice University. You know, and I, I do have to say that I've actually considered going back to get my PhD because it is something that I'd like to do, maybe one day. Um, but for those who are actually questioning uh, my degree, there you go. You didn't actually go to school for nutrition. You don't have a background in nutrition. I have a background in kinesiology, which is the study of movement and the body and your health, and I specialize in health sciences, which encompasses nutrition and more than just nutrition. And a funny story that most of you should definitely know here is that uh, one of my professors at the time who taught nutrition at Rice University was Roberta Anding. And she actually told me not to take her class because she would fail me because I would refuse to put down that I needed to eat meat or dairy to be healthy. So. The conclusion that me and my professors came up with is for me to do my thesis on juice fasting versus water fasting. And they were amazing and supportive of me 
and they really were awesome. So for anybody who says that like, I don't have a degree in nutrition, I have more than a degree in nutrition and I have 14 years of experience doing this. Next rumor, she can only sustain her lifestyle because she comes from money. Quoted the haters. You know, I just have to say this. I have been working for myself since I was 19 years old. And, and actually, the first job that I ever had, I was a veterinary dog walker. I was 14 and I did it for free. I just wanted to go and walk the puppies and the dogs that were at the local vet at the corner of my street. When I was 19, I became a calculus, physics, chemistry, Spanish, and SAT tutor. And this came about because when I was in my art classes, a bunch of my friends needed help with their math homework. And that translated into me helping their brothers and their sisters and I ended up becoming a tutor for high school and college kids to make it through their classes and even to help kids get into college. I was a tutor for six years straight. That was, that was my work, like that was my, my paying it forward, this was paying my dues time in my life. And while it was good money, I would kill myself at the time because there were times when I was working 20 hour days. I was not only tutoring, but I was attending all of my college classes and I had just started my co-op at the time. So essentially I was doing three full-time jobs, attending school, being a tutor and running my co-op, which I did for free for years. Like we're talking about for six or seven years as well. And I did all of that at the same time, number one, because I wanted my degree, college was important to me. And number two, because tutoring was helping me fund and support my passion for raw foods and running my organic farmer's market and co-op at the time. And then when I had the ability to transition to doing my co-op full time and writing my book, creating my app, doing my online stuff, I did. And to this day, I still work my butt off every single day. I work hard. And when people say that I make it look easy, I'm like, oh, that's a compliment because I spend most of my waking hours working. And for those of you who know me know that that is very true. I am so dedicated to my mission and my passion. And for every single person who thinks that my parents ever gave me a dime, don't kid yourself. Like really don't kid yourself. I'm actually so happy to be supporting my parents at this time in my life, supporting my family, even supporting other people that I love. And I feel really blessed and grateful to be able to do that. I do know where that rumor started. And I'll just say this, do not judge a book by its cover. You never know what people are going through on the other end to make things work for themselves, to make things work for their family. We all struggle. I do believe that most of us have the ability to pull ourselves out of negative thinking and into better circumstances. Now there are some people who have been through some really tough situations and grown up in really tough environments and it is much more difficult to pull yourself out of those kinds of circumstances however i do believe that most of us can choose to be positive and can choose to work hard and can choose to set goals for ourselves and to achieve those goals and for anybody here who is struggling with that or playing the tape in your mind that you're not good enough or that you can't achieve anything set your goals work hard, manifest, dream, I promise you can get there. It might take you 14 years, but you can get there. Some YouTuber posted a close-up video of you in an unflattering light where your hair almost seems gray. I don't have any gray hairs, by the way. And uh, I've never dyed my hair. I haven't even cut my hair in about a decade, actually maybe more than a decade. I haven't cut my hair since Avatar came out, whenever that movie came out. I've never had Botox. I have never had plastic surgery. This next comment says that I've had breast implants. Um, my breasts are all mine, you guys. I am so proud of my Ecuadorian and Lebanese curves. I look at old pictures of my grandmothers on both sides and I look like them and I see how powerful and how beautiful they were and just how honored and celebrated they were. And I feel like that's in my blood. Like I'm just so proud of every crinkle and wrinkle and imperfection on my body. And it's taken me a while to get there, but I think that is what self-respect and self-love is about. Fake teeth and fake breasts. Um, my teeth also happen to be mine, by the way. 
Uh, I did have braces for the majority of my childhood. Besides the point, they are also my teeth. And uh, next comment says that you lied about a boob job or two. All mine. That's right. You're welcome. Completely unrelated on a not serious note, the freckle at the end of your nose is so cute. Yes, and you wouldn't believe how many people I meet that are like, oh wait, just there's something on your nose and then they tap my nose. <laughs> it's because I have a freckle at the tip of my nose. Um, it's kind of funny every time it happens. Not a rumor, just a thought. You're not pumped full of injections, so it's rare to see. Thank you. That your eye change color is fake. Well, my eyes did change color on a raw vegan lifestyle. When I first started eating raw vegan, my eyes were brown. Plain and simple. And then some years later, I started noticing that they started turning a hazel green. Some years later, I started noticing uh, this brown, sparky, speckle thing happening around my iris. And then they started having specks of blue. Um, it's the most popular viewed video of mine on my channel about how my eyes change color. And I have a few comments from people actually asking me to do an update on this. So I'm happy to do that for you. Next one, you Photoshop your pictures. There were a few of these saying that I Photoshop my pictures to like cut off my legs or like cut my stomach in half or make myself look thinner. Uh, I'm gonna put two photos on the screen right now that are not Photoshopped. So you can see what I look like, just so that you know. And um, I actually don't Photoshop my photos. I actually prefer to show you what I look like. And if I ever have adjusted a photo, it's to just boost the colors because I love color in my photos. I love light working. I love color therapy. I love the vibrancy of fruits and vegetables. So I'm um, pretty sure everybody on Instagram uses a color filter or adjust the color uh, appropriately. So, so for people who are wondering if I Photoshop my photos, the answer is no. This one's good. I have to say this one's really good. That you got fat injected into your body, which is why you gained so much weight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry to be laughing, but that one is just so good that you got fat injected into your body, which is why you gained so much weight. Okay, well, I never had any kind of fat injected to my body. I've never had any kind of plastic surgery. I don't know why I would wanna get fat injected to my body, but I'll just say this. My body has been at both ends of the spectrum here. I have been really thin when I was really sick. I've gone through periods of high stress and depression where I put on weight because I was eating way more fruit than I would have and way more fat and I was just in a state of extreme depression and adrenal fatigue. And then I've come out of it to find a place where I'm really balanced now and I'm in a great place uh, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And I think it shows. And um, you know, I've never been ashamed of how I look on camera. I've been very open with all of you in the past however many years I've been online, but I've always shown you me my body, what I look like, what I'm going through. And I feel like I've been really open in doing that. And if I've gained weight and then I shared it online, cool. I've never shamed myself for it. There have been many posts on my Instagram where I've only promoted body positivity and promoted self-love no matter what you look like. And for me, at this point in my life, I really don't care how skinny I am. I care about how good I feel. Like I care about how healthy, I am and I do my best to, to complete the full spectrum of health, getting enough sleep, getting it exercise. Eating is just one component of it. Spending time with the people that I love, nourishing my mind with different things that excite me and my passions. People will always judge you on your shell that you're living in, but it's merely just a physical form. We are far more than our physical form that you're a bum ass soul and such an incredible person to be around. Stay positive, queen. Thank you. Thank you so much. That your Instagram and YouTube and Facebook aren't the same anymore because you care about the money more than helping people. Well, I would have to disagree with that because uh, I'm still sharing recipes and inspiration, healing uh, my lifestyle with you. And I have not veered from that uh, so I don't know why you would say that. If 
Maybe perhaps you're saying that because I'm working with more brands now than I have before. I don't necessarily consider that a bad thing because I have people ask me all the time, where can I find a vegan this or a raw vegan this or where can I find this? And I think it's actually amazing now that so many companies are coming out with vegan and raw options. Isn't that what we want? So for me to be able to share that with you is me sharing how progressive this movement is coming and you shouldn't always assume that I'm selling my soul to make that happen. Sometimes I do promote things that are not sponsored that I really believe in. So, I mean, I'm just saying, don't always assume that just because there's a product in my video that I'm selling my soul or that I'm all about the money. I've never taken a sponsorship or a brand proposal or worked with a company that was not ethical or vegan just so you know, and I have never promoted something that I do not use myself. It's called integrity. It's called business integrity, not just within your personal life, but also within your business. So I don't work with every single brand that approaches me. Actually, it's a lot more difficult to find brands that are in alignment with your values. So for everybody who feels like I've sold my soul to make money in being a vegan, you're so wrong. If I wanted to make money, <laughs> if I wanted to make money, I would have probably chosen something else to do with my life. There's a rumor going around that you're beautiful on the inside too. True or false? It's really sweet, thank you. And um, just to address this, because I don't have a screenshot, but there was somebody who said that my app was a scam. I'm gonna include some screenshots here for you of my app. So just to give you a definition of a scam, a scam would be as if you paid for something and I gave you nothing in return and then just took your money um, without reason, okay, for the app. But if you pay for my app on iTunes or Google Play and you download it and you get this in return that has more than 300 recipes in it, their videos, their shopping lists, their challenges, I don't think it's fair for you to say that that's a scam. I mean, there's some people who are complaining that you had to pay for premium recipes and challenges, but every single app does that. You download the basic app, you get access to 150 recipes, and if you want access to more, you pay a dollar to more, $25 for the year. That's not a scam, that's business. And for people who have problems with that, they aren't probably used to uh, accessing more valuable things, but, um, I will say this, all of my recipes on YouTube are free. You don't have to go download my app. You can find my recipes on YouTube if you want free content, but if you want something on a mobile device that you can carry around with you and find, then you can download my app. It's not a scam. That's mean. So I'd like to wrap this up with some positive comments just to end this video on a good note. And um, some people left some really beautiful comments on my video that I'd like to acknowledge as well just to put that out there and to thank those of you who have supported me the past 14 years, like, thank you, thank you. Like, honestly, just thank you so much. Feel me right now, feel my heart, I'm saying thank you. Thank you so much. Chef Chloe says that you're the most genuine person on planet Earth with the biggest heart. <laughs> thank you, Chloe, I love you. Loni Jane, many things, darling, but I know you're none of them. Thanks, Loni. I love you, I appreciate that so much. Uh, my DePetra sister, about just love. Yvonne says, I know you personally and the only rumor is the one in my heart about your kind soul. Thank you. Laura Fay says, I know they're all bullshits cause I know you and you're amazing. Thank you and I love you. Sue Kristen, I want you to stand as tall as you can for the planet for us, for people to have hope that we can all change. Thank you, I'm doing my best. And I'm just gonna let some of those just flash the screen for a second, because as many negative rumors and comments and statements that there were, there were just as many, if not more positive ones, and I wanna make sure that I acknowledge those as well. And I wanna do a better job of bringing light to the table every single day. I started off this video by saying, as beings of light, we don't have to run from darkness. We can actually choose to outshine it. And we can actually choose to bring light to our own darkness. And I believe that that's where the true healing happens. I wrote that coming out of one of my yoga classes the other day and I, I walked out with just tears flooding my face because I realized that by addressing these things, it doesn't mean that I have darkness and it doesn't mean that I am bringing people to darkness. It actually means that I'm bringing light 
to this situation, to outshine darkness, to let truth shine and to create peace and light and positivity around some of these things that need to be talked about because otherwise we're just letting darkness reign. I know it's not the easiest thing to do, but I truly believe that we can all bring light to the darkness within ourselves or to our darkest moments or the things that we're most afraid of. And that it's very real, it's very deep and it can be very scary. But just remember, we all have lightness and darkness and we can choose which one that we want to focus more on and which one that we can share more of with the world. And I want to encourage you to share your light with the world. Thank you all so much for supporting me today and hearing me talk about everything today. Appreciate your time. Our time nowadays is the most valuable thing that we have. So number one, I wanna thank you for your time. Number two, I wanna thank those of you who have supported me over the years unconditionally and those of you who know my true heart and who've been there for me. It's meant more to me than you can possibly ever know. And you're the reason why I'm making this video today is so that I can show you my true light and my character and to be able to bring clarity and love to this. And for anybody here that I've unintentionally hurt or said something that offended you, again, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best to come clean in life right now and just to have only openness and freedom and love and joy in my life and to do it with grace and compassion towards all and towards myself. And um, as I said in the beginning of this video, I'm hoping that by showing you my healing process, I'm giving you permission to heal as well and we can all heal together and make this world a better place. If you've appreciated this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with those that might have heard some of these things and um, give me the opportunity to bring clarity to them as well. I appreciate that so much. And uh, if you do wanna stick around, I'd appreciate it as well if you subscribe to my channel and um, there's gonna be much more coming your way, much more light and positivity. Thank you all so much for joining me. Truly, 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 truly thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate you. Sending you all my hugs and my love and I'll see you all in my next video.